Welcome back. This is a video number 37, Quick Access to Layers. Now, of course, we've done quite a lot of work over the last two videos looking at layers and how to control details. But when you're working in a drawing, particularly if this is a drawing you've never seen before, uh, then you're going to need some tools that allow you to access layers quickly and to get to grips with what's going on. So if you'd like to open up drawing number 37, quick access to layers, then let's get going together. So at the top of the ribbon, this is the ribbon at the top here. Okay, at the top of the ribbon, we know we've already had a look at this particular pull down list that gives us access to our layers. And we're going to have a look at that first of all. So this is a quick way of getting access to and finding your on off buttons, your freeze and thaw buttons and your lock buttons, as well as the colors. So all of those features are active. So let's go and see if we can turn off uh, some bits and pieces. We're going to choose freeze and thaw on the windows. And as you do that, the window there freezes, click it back on, and the window comes back. Okay. So if we go down to dimensions, we'll do the same thing. Find your dimensions and do a freeze. The dimensions disappear. Click once again, and the dimensions are back. Now, this means that we've got really quick access to turning things on and off. But we won't necessarily know in a new drawing what the layers are called. So what we can do is just place our mouse over the top of one of our objects that we want to know and we'll get a tooltip and immediately this tells us that this layer is a walls. OK, so that's a really fast way of finding out what the layer is called before you even have to select it. You only have to hover over the top. So you could go around and inspect various things. OK, here we are on the sink. We've got a layer called Fit02. Yeah. And on the kitchen, we've got a layer called Kark01. So that's a really quick way of finding out what's going on. And if you need to make some corrections, I'll show you how to do that. Here's a light fitting. And when you compare it to the other light fittings, you'll see it's a different color. So that obviously tells us there's something going on. We're going to select the light fitting. And at the moment, we can see that this pull down menu displays layer zero. Now, layer zero, when you have something selected, means this object is on layer zero, is residing on layer zero. And we want it on layer lighting. So we've got our electrical stuff here on our layer for electricals. It's the right color. And so we can click here and immediately we've got our light fitting on layer electrical. If you want to, uh, you can check the other light fittings. There we go. Electrical. O2 and this one electrical O2. So everything's fine. So let's just pretend we didn't know what the layer was. Up here we've got a match layer button. Changes the layer of a selected object to match the destination layer. Okay. So let's try this. Let's find this dimension here. Okay, it's on layer elevation, that's wrong. So we're going to match and click onto this one here. Okay, and immediately this dimension is now put onto our dimension layer because we pointed at other dimensions. Now we've got a whole bunch of buttons that help us like that. If you have a look at these buttons here, we've got a button with a light bulb, which is on or off. And immediately below that, we have a button which is turning on all layers. OK, so you can turn things off and turn things on with these. We've got freeze, so you can point at individual layers and freeze them. 
let's get rid of all of the dimensions okay here's the dimensions okay we're going to freeze the dimensions okay that's easy and then escape to finish and if you want to turn them all back on underneath there you've got thaw or layers click on there and all of our layers have come back on so you can actually make things really quickly now you've also got a button here which is quite handy called make current in other words the layer that you're going to be drawing on next would be the current layer and let's say that you want to draw some of these kitchen cabinets in you click make current click onto the kitchen cabinets and we're now on carcassing 01 so that the next thing you draw could be a kitchen cabinet okay so this is quick access to your layers uh, it might be worth having a little play but uh, I just remind you that a lot of this information can also be found in your properties dialog box just down here which is just a case of selecting the object and checking out what's going on down here okay so there's a lot of information that can be gleaned from your drawing very quickly both with this pull down menu these buttons here and the properties dialog box okay have some fun and join me in the next video